Frustrated trying to hang your IKEA ribbon frame? Let us give you some ideas about how we hung ours. Stick with us. Hi, welcome to the Handyverse where we turn to DIY as a first resort to help learn how to do things in a home and hopefully inspire you to do the same in your own living space. A while ago, we had come up with a DIY project for shelves on this wall which at the time we thought we liked, but the more that we lived with it, realized, well, I realized that I hated it. So I um, made Jason take it down and we've repainted this wall and come up with a new idea. <laughs> so yeah. uh, the new idea is, um, I'm hold it up. three of these large pictures. Um, and these pictures um, were fantastic. We got them off of Etsy which at a very good price, downloaded them and uh, print them at Costco for a very reasonable price. And these frames here we purchased from Ikea, again, for a very reasonable price. We think they come out really great, and we're all set to put them up, but then realize that um, the cheap frames come at a cost. They're actually difficult to hang, because the hook here is quite recessed into the frame. It's about an inch in, so it's, unless you have something sticking really far out from the wall, it's not going to hook on that. So this video is, I guess, a very, um, is an Ikea hack. <laughs> yeah. So um, we'll show you what uh, solution we came up with here. So as you can see here in this ribbon frame from Ikea, the hook for the nail or screw is here, but the, the frame is, it's in about an inch or inch and a half. So that means you need a pretty long screw or nail into your wall, which is possible, but then the bigger, longer you get, the bigger the head of the screw. And this is actually pretty narrow here, so it might be hard to actually hang it off of that. And then as well, um, it makes it difficult for you to actually be able to see um, where to hang it on the wall to catch the screw. So we're gonna give this a try, see what happens. So we have this piece of trim which you can see here has two flat sides and then the curved side. And then we're going to put the glue um, on this end here and then attach it here so that the screw can hang off in this and um, that'll make it a lot easier to hang. So we have some Gorilla Glue, super glue, and it says just one drop for every six and a half centimeters squared which is kind of hard to believe, but we'll trust it. We have our safety gloves on and our safety goggles, because it says it bonds instantly. <laughs> okay, so I I just turn this in here. So here it goes. So I'm gonna put five dots. You're supposed to hold it for about 45 seconds and then uh, we let, you have to let it cure for 24 hours before you hang anything off of it. Okay so the Gorilla Glue was a fail. It wasn't sticking and it was not crazy like it said. It might work for different surfaces but maybe it's because of this press board. It just didn't seem to be sticking. So we're going to try plan B, which is to screw the trim into the frame um, and use a little bit of wood glue to secure it. So we're going to make three, um, what are they called, pilot holes? Pilot holes. <laughs> So like we said, our first uh, IKEA hack idea didn't work out and that's okay. Um, like we said, we're making this stuff up. But <laughs> um, after gluing and screwing this trim in, um, it seems to be quite secure and um, we're happy with this and feel confident that it's going to work. 
Um, we'll see if the picture falls down over time, but I think it's going to be probably a lot stronger than this one hook here because we're going to put maybe two uh, nails or screws to hang off of. And one thing we had to be really careful is that when we screwed it in that it didn't, the screw was long enough to catch and hold, but not so long that it of course came through the other side. Okay, so these are the screws we're gonna use. It's a two in one, two for one deal. It's called Wall Dog Screw and Anchor in One. And it says for drywall, plaster, block brick, concrete. It can hold up to 50 pounds. So here it goes. One of the other good things about doing it this way is that in order to find out the height of your, uh, where your screws should go, all you need to do is put the picture where you want and mark the wall at the top of the picture and then you just come down about an inch from there and you have the spot to hang it. We're gonna come down an inch or so. So the first one's gonna be about right here. And with the width of these pictures, we're gonna be five inches in uh, from the edge. So we're gonna put one here, we're gonna go 15 inches over. That'll be five inches in on the other side. And then we want eight inches between the pictures so we're gonna go 15 inches here, and then 18 inches to the next hole. This has a level on it, so we'll just put it up and measure out the spots. So I'm putting these in, I'm gonna leave them about quarter of an inch out, so that way this hooks on the piece of trim that we put on the back and keeps them in place. So there you have it, there's our IKEA hat for the rib of frame. Uh, worth a little bit of effort for the price that you pay for the frames and I think they look pretty nice. So if you like this video, hit like and subscribe and we'll catch you in the next one.